what I'm going back because this she may make a bad move on to justice and I'm at the college at the moment um, so sorry it took long to do this this video but um, I wasn't really able to do this video on on the day because um my uh, I was at home at the time my family was around I needed to be alone when I needed to do this video this video is regarding Elika and for those who know Elika and don't know about the, the latest news unfortunately Elika has passed away and his death uh, was ruled as a suicide by drowning and uh, for those who don't know who Elika was he was a youtuber and a live streamer mostly on twitch and apparently he used to be a model and if you're wondering why you never um, uh, discovered his YouTube channels because he had it um, talking down both he had two channels both of them in which they were talking down now when I heard this news it was I can I just couldn't believe it like like this one man just gone like that and when I saw his I'm sorry video, I mean like I, I knew, I saw how he felt, I actually felt his pain. But regarding the video, the one thing I don't understand was how YouTube was so stupid enough to remove the video. Like he was at this, the state where... He, I don't know how I don't know how to just do describe this, but like Edeka was hurting inside. He knew he had to get these things off of his chest. He was expressing his thoughts that he had, and YouTube was stupid enough to have the video taken down. Like how stupid do you have to be to take a video down of someone expressing their thoughts of somebody and their in their darkest times expressing how they felt it's ridiculous like this man was going through a tough ass time man I mean this nigga was 29 years old and the, obviously the pressure just got to him he just took his own life I know suicide is never a good thing I mean okay, realistically suicide is really upsetting to me because like, when I heard this news yeah I was upset I couldn't even upload a single video so on that Tuesday if you're wondering why I didn't upload on the Tuesday it was because of the news about Edeka's death and uh, I don't know it's just I can't find the right words because it's it's shocking and the fact that suicide is affecting it's like so many young people so many young people like we're losing these people way too young young ages i mean like even when when avicii died last year i just couldn't believe it like the world is just not the same without these people it's definitely not the same without Erica. or anyone who who died anyone who committed suicide especially if they're like a young age it's just it's just the world is not it's just not the same it'll never it's never gonna be the same because before 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 uh, Edeka died I was this eager to join in with making all the Edeka memes but in respect of his death I have decided that I am not going to make any Edeka memes because this was this just came up way, way too soon and I don't want to I don't want to face any possible backlash of memeing a memeing a dead person. Because I know, because I know, I know how. Yeah, I know how people would react to that, and trust me, I don't want to be like in a bad light. But realistically, realistically, I do feel bad. Yes. It is really upsetting and it is really it is really sad really. So 
Rest in peace, Erica. We may have not known each other, but I know for sure that you're in a better place now. So yes, it had to take so long. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It's like, it's like, so one person can be here next minute. They're just gone just like that. Especially if they're that young, I mean, 29 years old. Can't believe that man. So, rest in peace, Desmond Daniel Amofa, aka Erica. May 12th, 1990 to June 19th. 